Hey everyone, today we are back with a mod review. We will be taking a look here at a lot of new truck mods. All of the mods are public and links can be found up on my website. Up first, we will be taking a look here at three sport cars by the same mod creator. In the store, they can be found here under the new mods category. Up first, we have the Mercedes-Benz 540K Roadster, $667,000. I was doing a little bit of research, and this is around from the 1936 time period, which is pretty sweet. You do have the US, and you do have a few different license plate and an upgraded engine. Up next, you have the Ferrari F. 12 TRS Roadster, $4.2 million, probably one of the most expensive uh, sport cars and farm sim, you guys can see it is color changed, we'll really do like some of them, you have metallic, you have matte, which do look great, a few different uh, plates there, and an engine option, finally you have the Porsche Taycan Turbo S, $191,000, full electric, 300 horsepower, you have US, uh, European plates, upgraded engine, and you do also have a lot of new colors as well. Up first, we'll be taking a look here at the 1936 Mercedes. This looks like something you would see in a movie. Really do like the detail all the way around. Look at that spare tire there. Really do like the Washington plates. A little bit of chrome, and I think that does accent the color pretty well. Once we hop here on the inside, top speed is 75 miles per hour. We'll check out the lights really quick here. There is really no options there, but wow, look at those car horns in the front. Uh, that does look pretty cool in the exhaust. Come out the side, and on the first person view, work steering wheel mirrors and gauges looks pretty nice really do like the detail in the dash and overall it's pretty cool though that we are getting more and more cars and sport cars and farm sim and it's really unlimited potential and you just have to put the work in next we have the f12 road so you guys can see look at that 12 cylinder ferrari engine going through the hood there that does look pretty sweet wow this thing is really expensive pretty sporty i do like that f1 brake light here but once we hop here on the inside top speed 130 36 miles per hour we could definitely top that out a uh, no problem here but this thing looks awesome really do like all the lights here now on the first person view a working gauges steering wheel and mirrors now this does have the usual kind of ferrari kind of tan interior but we do have the five point harness uh instead of the basic uh seat belts wow this thing looks top notch and definitely want to use this here maybe we, we can own one with a farm and last up here uh from that same mon crater is the porsche tycon full electric I believe there are four engines in this and this does have a very quick acceleration now we might just have to add this to the homeowner series uh, since you guys know that we are kind of a Porsche person here on the channel really do like that wow look at this thing all the way around now let's check out the first person view you guys can see pretty detailed gauges everything works here and definitely needs a little bit more kind of on the acceleration to have kind of that get up and go factor but wow uh, this thing looks awesome Really do like that we are getting some more electrics. Maybe we'll see a Tesla in the future, maybe some other ones. And I do know that there are a few other electric trucks. Up next, we'll be taking a look here at this Lamborghini Murcielago. Now, in the store, there really is no store options. Looks to be a conversion uh, from a previous version of Farm Sim. Although it's probably not the best detail, really do like it. And it's great that we do have this here in Farm Sim. Needs a little bit of work all the way around, especially on the interior camera view. But this thing does look pretty awesome. Really do like it. And it is the SVJ uh, as well. Wow, this thing looks pretty cool. Really quickly, looks like you could unfold something looks like nothing unfolds here it does have working lights on it which is a pretty handy as well and wow uh, but let me know down below in the comments guys what is your favorite lamborghini there are so many variations models and years and i will have to say the mercio lago in uh, gated with that manual is uh, definitely one of the top up next we have a 2012 ram crew cab pickup this uh, definitely has a huge lift kit lots of modifications in the store can be found here guys and see it's a 2012 a uh, big horn here 650 50 horsepower lots of new colors as well metallic uh, chrome you do have stock mirrors and you do also have the fifth wheel a few different ones but wow this thing looks like one sweet truck here so upgraded bumper in the front steps on the side look at that exhaust tip there wow that is huge the antennas and i really do like the overall setup once we hop here on the inside, you guys can see all the lights do work here. When you do press X, it looks like you can unfold something. Looks like nothing is showing here, but really quickly, 
Let's kind of see what the mouse control is here. It looks like you can also put the tailgate down there, which is pretty sweet. But wow, this thing looks like it's going to be a great work truck and a great kind of uh, truck to drive around here. Working mirrors, working steering wheel, pretty detailed. Uh, very similar to some of the other Rams in Farm Sim. When you do hop on out, you guys can see just how huge of a lift kit this has on. But overall, I definitely want to have this on a farm or something because this thing with these tires can do some serious off-roading and some work. Up next, we'll be taking a look here at a Mercedes 6x6. This can be found here under the cars category. And this is a pretty expensive $813,000. It's the Brabus uh, B63S700 uh, 6x6 here. Lots of colors now, usually on something like this. Look at that. Really do like that orange. But as we do take a full walk around, you guys can see pretty sweet. Oh, wow, this definitely needs to be scaled up just a little bit. But this thing is huge. Once we hop here on the inside, you guys can see top speed 136 miles per hour. The tailgate does work on it as well pretty fast. Wow, this has a lot of power, which is pretty sweet here. Now, on the first person view, you guys can see working gauges. Uh, everything is detailed. Look at these seats. Wow, uh, this does look awesome. Now, if you guys do have any cool mods you guys would like me to feature here in reviews, please let me know. I really do enjoy doing these every week for you guys uh, to showcase the latest trucks and things, but I really want to get into more kind of farm equipment, attachments, tractors, and things of that nature. Up next, we'll be taking a look here at a Ford F650 service truck, and while we're in the store, we'll take a look at the other two trucks as well. In the store, they can be found here under the trucks category. The service truck is a F750, $119,000. It is color changeable here with only an option here for the engine. 850 horsepower, which is pretty sweet. Up next, you do have the Peterbilt 359 here. You do have a lot of options here for it. You have colors, you have different axles, you could have a tag axle, you could have a rack in the back, uh, you could have it a sleeper. So many different bumpers up front here, stacks. I mean, this keeps going on and on. And as well, which does look pretty cool as we continue visor, headlights, and wheels, you could get heavy duty. And finally, the last semi here is uh, the uh, Mac MR688S. You could get a three axle, two axle. Really do like the cab over. You could have different mud flaps on it as well, and an upgraded engine, and it is color changeable with some really nice colors. As we walk around the F750, you guys can see this is one pretty big service truck here. Really do like it. Look at all the detail. You do a fire extinguisher, a welder, looks like pressure washer, air compressor. So many things here on the inside. And that's just to make sure you have all the right tools for when you do need this truck here. But this thing looks so nice. This thing is a pretty huge truck as well. And it does have a lot of features here. Now, it does have strobes all the way around. Really do like them. That is pretty sweet here. The basic turn signals, everything like that. When you do press X, the stabilizers unfold, and also the crane is mouse controlled here. So that is pretty sweet here. Really am excited uh, to kind of have this. You guys can see it rotates. Working winch. Wow. Uh, this is overall one great truck here. Definitely will be using this for some role play purposes. Up next, we have that Peterbilt 359 here. Look at this setup here. We got the tag. Uh, we got the heavy-duty tires. And this thing overall looks uh, probably one of the best Peterbilts I have to say in Farm Sim in uh, the last uh, quite a bit of time here. Look at all those lights here. Wow. And on the first person view, you guys can see it is pretty detailed. And it does have kind of the old-fashioned kind of interior as well. Look at this. Wow. This thing does look awesome. But this thing has a lot of detail all the way around. Last up, we'll be taking a look here at the Mac Cab over. You guys can see really do like this. I actually want to use this in uh, some upcoming videos here. Really do like this cab over. Usually, I'm not a huge fan of them, but this one is pretty nice here. Now, on the first first view, it does have an interior camera view with working mirrors, but it isn't too detailed here. Maybe a little bit of some color changing on the inside, and it could still look even better. But wow, look at that front end, and including that front bumper. It looks awesome. Next up here, we'll be taking a look at a huge fire truck pack here. These can be found here in the store under the new category here. We do have a Kodiak pumper, a work star, we have a Saber engine, Saber rescue, and finally a Freightliner engine here. So we'll do a quick walk around, very similar settings and features on all of them here. So we'll just hop in a few and we'll take a look here. So up first, we do have this engine here, a lot of strobe lights all the way around, emergency lights, it does have sirens and so many cool 
cool features as well and why don't we hop it in this one here so this one does have strobes everything works on it and that's pretty detailed here up next we'll hop here in the freightliner and this thing looks sweet look at that wow that does look pretty awesome here really do like that light bar up top up next you do have the uh, kodiak i really do like the small pumper here it's really handy for getting in some small areas which is pretty handy now the last one is an international tanker you guys can see really do like it all these fire vehicles have a lot of features some of them do also hold water up next, we'll be taking a look here at a Volvo Excavator. This is one huge Volvo. It's the EC950E. It's probably one of the biggest excavators I've seen here in the game. Look at that. We could actually walk underneath it. That's just how high up it is. So once we hop here on the inside, you guys can see everything does work. Six miles per hour travel speed. We do have a first person view as well, which is uh, pretty nice here. A little bit more detail on the first person view. But overall, this is one sweet truck. Last up today, we'll be taking a look at a gritty white boat. This looks to be around a 20 uh, to 22 foot boat here. Tandem axle trailer. The trailer is color changeable. The gritty is color changeable as well. You could have the hard top option and the engines do go up and down as well. And you could adjust this as well for the different maps with the different water heights there. But hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review. We looked at a ton of mods. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.